All right, folks, uh, we are back at the Hebrew. It's been seven days since I've done anything. I've been a little preoccupied, uh, but um, I'm going to try to work through some more of this Hebrew and see what we can come up with. And so um, I've got my Google Translate here. And I'm going to try to... Um, yeah, I guess I need to re I need I guess I need to update my Hebrew. We'll do that. And uh while that's working, um, we're gonna take a look at some of this um uh, some of these exercises here. Before I do that, let me knock some of these out. Okay. Okay, so basically uh we just sort of started looking at this last time. And um, so we got um, our uh, vocabulary here, uh, kulam uh, for everybody. Uh, zahar looks like it's uh, masculine gender. And uh, rabim is like, um, it's masculine and it's plural, obviously, because uh, we're talking about an entire body of more than just one. Uh, here we have uh, Liesh Li. Now, literally, that means there is to me. There is to me, but in the vernacular, um, it would be uh, I have. So it's funny how the how the uh, the concept is conveyed in Hebrew. There is to me. So it's I have. Okay, and then we have uh, now this is uh, this one here is to be sorry, lahitz uh, ta'er, lahitz ta'er. That's to be sorry. Notice it's got the lamed there, so that's the preposition means two or four. Okay, um, and then uh, just uh, to be sorry is mitz uh, ta'er. To be sorry. Okay, how about this one? Uh, haval, uh, too bad. Haval, too bad. All right. Um, so I think I read this section last time and I ended up here on Hashelot. So it's like the questions. And I think I did the, um, I think I did these, these questions. Uh, I, I think I did this. I think I might have done this one, but I think what I'm going to do is uh, is just see what um, just see what I can come up with. Actually, actually, I think for the brevity, since I already did this on the last video, let's take a look at just quickly take a look at the answer key um, here. And um, so we have uh, Einet, Yael, uh, Ronan. Uh, let's see, Va'eron, uh, no, these are all proper names, proper names of people. Olechim Laseret, okay, so they are going to the movie, right? Uh, Lemoshe, and now I, I, in this last video when I did my review, I didn't get the pronunciation quite right, but it's Lemoshe, and if you, uh, if you put it into Google Translate, that's what it should come up as, Lemoshe. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, to Moses. To Moses. Le Moshe. Le Moshe. Le Moshe. Le Moshe. Le Moshe. Okay, so it's like Le Moshe. All right. Le Moshe. Yeshu Rebaik. Okay, so th there is, this is a uh, work. It's like, um, it's like housework, it's like homework, but it's but it's classes, it's classwork. Yesh lo harbe avoda. Okay, there is to him a lot of work. There is to him a lot of work. Okay, so uh, I covered that the last time. I can't remember if I got all of that right, but um, let's continue on here and see. So now, now what we're gonna do is do a new one uh, we'll cover this here and see um, what we can come up with to fill this blank. 
We've got Holechim Lasare. Okay, so are going to the movie of all Moshe. Uh, too bad. Moses blank. Uh, so we need to put uh, cannot go. Cannot go. So um, I'm trying to remember how that is wor worded. So basically, um, how this is going to work is all of these people right here are going to fit down into this right here. Ainet, Yael, Ronan, Va'aron, Holechim, Lacer are going to the movie. Aval, I think that means but, Moshe. Uh, let's see. Cannot go. Okay, so I think it's uh, it's not going to be Ain because Ain means there is not. So... Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's right. Uh, cannot go. Okay, Moshe. Uh, but there might be a different wording there they're looking for. They're using lelechet. Okay. I think I'm just going to put um, I'm going to put low, low holet, cannot go or is not going. Moshe. I wonder if I if I should put who there. Who low? He is not going. Elo Lake. Okay, we'll have to look at the answer key and see what they've got there. Moshe blank. What does he have? He has um Yeshi or eight. So probably this right here is gonna go down here. Moshe Yeshi or eight. So there is uh homework, but gum and also blank. Let's see, uh, meets to Eret, meets to Eret. Let's take a look at that. Meets to Eret. Meets to Eret. Yeah, meets to Eret. Okay, and also blank is sorry, meets to Eret. So that's this one right here. I wonder if it's all these people that are sorry, but that, that wouldn't make sense. And this meets to rare, that's a feminine singular, clearly, because a meets to air is, is masculine. But if we're talking about Moshe, that's a guy, that's masculine. So, you know what? Let's, let's go to the answer key. Don't get uh, stuck on things too long. If you can't figure it out, you've got to go to the answer key and work it out. Okay, so Kulam, oh, look at this, Kulam, Olechim Laseret. Okay. So everybody, Kulam, okay, all right. Wow, I didn't get that one, uh, but that's what they want in there. It's kind of a puzzle. Kulam, everyone, Holechim Laser, everyone's going to the movie. Avala Moshe, Lo Holech. Okay, so, so I, I did get the low part. Um, actually, I think I put to him, but I misspelled it, but it's low. Uh, of all but, Moshe cannot go. Lo Holech. Okay, Moshe meets Da'er. Moshe is sorry. The Gam, Hainet. Uh, and also, Aina Ainet is Mista Eret. Moshe is sorry. Mista Er, Vagam Ainet, and Mista um, Er. Okay, you know what? I bet you the answer was up here in the reading. I bet you it is right here. Should have known that. 
Moshe says, Lo ani mitzta'er, I, no, I'm sorry. Yesh li harbe chiorei bai. So there is to me a lot of homework. Yesh li harbe avoda. And there's a lot of work. Okay, and then Ainat says, haval, too bad. Well, actually, Ainat does not specifically say uh, uh in the feminine. Ainat is a, is a girl. I don't think. So that that um, that right there could throw anybody off, I think. Ainet only says haval. That's all she says. She says too bad. She doesn't say I'm sorry. But you notice on the answer key here, it implies that she says she's sorry. She just says too bad. Okay, so and I notice this here. It says Moshe uh, meets Da'er. Moshe is sorry. The gam Ainet meets Da'eret, and also Ainet is sorry, but that's not exactly what the text says. It just says too bad. She says too bad. She doesn't say, oh, I'm sorry too. Doesn't she? That's not in the text. All right. Well, there's all kinds of little idiosyncrasies like that in these programs. Okay, so let's go to, uh, let's see. Um, Arbe in this context means this, uh, or Ha'erev, oh, Ha'erev this evening. Yeah, Ha'erev in this context means this evening. Similarly, Hayom means today, or Hayom rather, that's Hayom. Well, there's Hayom. Uh, Halayla means tonight. Let's see, look at this. Haboker means this morning. Okay. Well, let's take a look at this here. I wonder what this is. Let's start here. We've got Keratisim. La Opera. This looks like to the to the opera, like uh like opera, like that, la opera. I bet you that's what it is. Let's take a look at that word, kertsim. Kertsim. Tickets, that's right, tickets, look at that. Kertsim. Kertsim. Sounds like kertsim. 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 Cartisim. Cartisim. Look at that. Cartisim. Tickets. Uh, La Opera. La Opera. Yeah, tickets to the op opera. Cartisim La Opera. La Opera. Look at that. La Opera. So it's almost like they've got a goal here, but you don't see it in the modern Hebrew. So it's like, uh, and then this would be like this. This would be like this. There'd be a Shiva there. Le opera. And then this um, under the race would be like, uh, maybe like a patach. There might be a patach there. Le opera. So kartisim le opera. So it's like tickets to the opera. All right, so we got that figured out. So here are, um, these are questions. Remember, uh, that's based on this word, uh, uh, she'elot. Let's see, hush. This is hashlamot. Let me double check that. I want to take a look at that again. Hashlamot. Oh, I see. Uh, it says perfection. I wonder... Oh, complete. Hashlamot means complete. That's right, because hasha'alot is questions. Complete. All right, and then uh, this, this represents hasha'alot, which is questions. Hasha'alot. Yeah, that's right, the questions. Ashe Elot. Ashe Elot. Okay. So, okay. So we have, uh, let's see. This is a proper name here. Naga. 
wonder how that's pronounced. Naga. Yeah, Naga. Naga. Yeah, Naga. Okay, so that's, I don't think I've seen that proper name before. So it's like, it's like uh, Naga. <laughs> Naga. Naga. Imagine being named Naga. That sounds weird, doesn't it? Okay, uh, Boker Toe. This is what Naga says. Boker Toe, good morning, Ainit. Uh, Mashlonka, how are you? Actually, I think that might be Mashlomek because I think Ainit is a girl, but let me double check. Ainit. Yeah, a not. A not. A not. The question is, is a not a boy or a girl? Uh, so if it's a girl and uh, Naga is saying to a not, it would be Shlomech because it would be feminine singular. Uh, but without any kind of vowel pointing, I kind of have to figure out, well, what's the gender of a not? A not. A not. I keep wanting to say Ainet, but it's really a not. Give me a minute here. Okay, so never fails to get a call when I do a Hebrew class, does it? Okay, so Enot says, uh, Tov Me'od, I'm very, I'm doing very good. Um, Ma Shlom Ka, okay, so how are you, Naka? No Os Noga, look at that. They decided to put the nakud on here. So this is not naga. It's not um it's not uh n a a n a g a. No, it's n o g a. Noga. Because notice notice the um notice that dot there, that's whole limb. And basically it's it's like a, a conjunctive whole limb. So normally your whole limb looks like this. Looks like a vav with dot on top, and that's that's O sound, holem. So it's noga. So I got to remember that. Okay, so that's what that is. And this is uh, a knot. Darn thing. All right, so um let's see here. And that says uh told me old, I'm doing good. Uh Ma Shlom Shlom Ka. It could be Shlomek. How are you, Noga? The uh, question is, is Noga a guy's name or a girl's name? So I think I'm going to look that up. So basically, I'm just putting into Google search, is Noga a boy or girl's name in Hebrew. And it comes up, it says here, Noga is a girl's name of Hebrew origin. This makes a big difference because Noga is feminine. Therefore, uh, and then what about Inat? Inat is a girl's name too. Look at that. So uh, Inat is is feminine, and Noga is feminine. Okay, so now we can figure out the proper uh, pronunciation of this right here. See that? Because if it's a boy, it's Shlomka, but if it's a girl, it's Shlomek. See? 
It's a difference there. So now that we know that both uh, Noga and Anat are feminine, so we can say, Tob me od, uh, mashlo mek, how are you, Noga? In other words, it literally says, how is your peace? Noga says, uh, Matsuyan, uh, I'm doing well. Like Matsuyan is, is like, um, actually it means uh, excellent, I think. Matsuyan. Yeah, excellent. Matsuyan. Yeah, Matsuyan. She says Matsuyan. Uh, Inat, uh, Yeshli, uh, let's see, Kartsim Le Opera. Okay, so Kartsim Le Opera. So, see, there is to me tickets to the opera. In other words, she's saying, uh, Noga is saying, Inat, I have tickets to the opera. Rotsa Le Bo want to go look at that road say uh, actually in this case i think it's gonna i think it's gonna be road sauce it's gonna be like this ah stop stop pen i think it's gonna be um like like that road it's kind of like teasy road saw road labo because i think road is want in the feminine sense. And then labo is to go. Wrote a labo. Now they're putting in Google, they're putting in the in the masculine sense, rotse. But because uh Noga and Enot uh Inot are both girls, I think it's gonna be Rotsa Labo. Okay, Inat says, Matai uh, Erev. Okay, so Matai is, um, trying to remember what that one is. I know it's, uh, Matai, Matai Erev. Okay, yeah, Matai is like, um, like when? It's like when? Matai. Yeah, Matai. Okay, so she says, Enat says, when? Erev in the evening? No, God says, Ken. Yes. Okay. Enat says, Lo Ani Mitzter. Let's see, that's the Mitzter. Now, is that, is that one? That sorry one. Uh, she says, no, I'm sorry. So in the evening, I am going to the movie, La Serret. I'm going to the movie. So um, I want to take a look at this one real quick here and get this, uh, try to get this pronunciation. And uh, that's right here. Um, meets, meets to Eret. Meets to Eret. That's, I think that's how you pronounce it. Meets to air it. Yeah. Meets to air it. Yeah, meets to air it. Meets to air it. Okay, so that's what it is. Meets to meets meets to air it. She says, uh, "Lo, I need meets to air it." So, uh, no, I am sorry. Erev uh, in the evening, I need holachet. Notice it says holachet, not holek, because it's a girl. Ani uh, holchet the serret to the movie. All right. Now look at this. Uh, we've got these. Uh, these are the questions, and I think uh, uh, teshuva are questions. Teshuva. Uh, now, yeah, shello are questions, and teshuva are answers. Rather, answers. Wait a minute. Questions. Look. Actually, I think this uh, this Aleph is the. Let's try to figure figure out what the Aleph stands for and what the Bet stands for, because we've got questions here, questions, questions, got questions here, questions. Uh, this is just this has got to be just the discussion, and then now this is. 
What's going on here? Uh, no gas says, look at that. It's got a transliteration high, like, like that. I Moshe, Ma Shlomka. So that's definitely Shlomka because Moshe is masculine. So it must be that this is just Aleph. In other words, this is a reading discussion thing for Aleph, and that is another reading discussion thing. So it's not necessarily questions and answers. All right, so Moshe says, Tob me, oh, very good, ma shlom. And now in this case, uh, it's going to be shlom make. Got to be shlom make because Noga is feminine. She's feminine. And Moshe is masculine, right? Noga says, Tob, I'm good. Uh, Rotse lelechet. Okay, so do you want to go a erev? Le opera. Okay, so do you want to go? In other words, so now no guy, because Ina said no, she's going to the movie. Now what's happening is is no guy is trying to find somebody to go to the op opera with her. Uh, and no guy is asking Moshe now. And notice that she has to she has to ask Moshe. No guy is now speaking. She says to. And she's she's gonna use rotse because Moshe is masculine he's a boy uh okay so uh she says uh good do you want to go this evening to the opera yeshli kartisim okay so there is to me kartisim i have tickets so moshe can go to go to the opera for free because she has an extra ticket Moshe says, uh, let's see here. Meets Ta'er, I'm sorry, Noga. I'm sorry, Noga. Uh, there is not, look at that. There is not Ein, Li, Zaman. That's time. I think that Zaman is time in, uh, this evening. I don't have time this evening. Let me double check that though. Ain li zaman harev. Ain li zaman harev. Harev. Come now. Harev. What? Ain Yeah, Ain Lizman. Okay, so Ain Ain Lizman. There is no time. I think in this case, it literally says the evening, but I think if you were to translate it, it would be like this evening. Ain Lizman Haarev. I don't know why I can't get that Haarev in there. Oh, tonight. That's right. Yeah, high rev. So in other words, this is also not just the evening, but it's tonight. Yeah, that makes sense. So Naga says, Ain Li Zaman High Rev. So there is to me, there is uh there is not. Remember, Ain is there is not. It's like a negative. There is not to me, Zaman High Rev. Okay, Yeshli, there is uh, let's see, there is to me. Arbe, a lot. She oray by eat. This is homework. Remember that? She oray by eat. There is to me a lot of homework. All right. So basically, poor Noga, this girl here, she can't find nobody to go to the opera with her. She's got all these tickets. Cartesim uh, la opera. She's got all these tickets to the opera, but can't find nobody to go with her. Isn't that sad? All right, uh, let's see here. I think I covered all this. These are all the difference. Uh, high rev in this context means this evening. Look at that. Similarly, ayom means today. Uh, Halila means tonight. Okay, so basically this evening. But you know, on Google Translate, it decided to put tonight. It uses high rev. So there's a lot of crossover in Hebrew, seems like. 
Uh, let's see how boker means this morning. Look at that. I guess depending on the context. Okay, so we've got uh, cartis is a ticket. Cartesim uh, le opera. Yeah, I was I was pretty close on that there. Now this should have a uh, a um, dot, a superlinear dot above that vav, so it'd be because it's opera, it's o sound. But uh, I think I put Segol under there. Yeah, I think I did put Segol. But I put Patak. Notice when I uh, tried to put the Nakuda in there, I put that bar there. But uh, also Kometz will work. So those are both a equal ah. Uh. All right, so Matai is when, Zaman is time. Ja'a is an hour. Let's see. Um, bash. Basha'a. That's going to be a shava. I think it's pronounced uh, bash. Basha'a. Basha'a shava. Yeah, that's right. Basha'a shava baboka. Oh, it's just uh, basha'a. Uh, well, they're adding the baboker in the morning. It's not necessarily a baboker. It could be seven o'clock, could be in the evening. Basha. Basha Sheva Baboker. Yeah, this is Sheva. They're just putting seven there. Uh, para, shell. And I think three is Shalosh. Let's see, Sha'ot. Take a look at that there. Opera, shell, shalosh, shaot. Oh, look at that. The opera has uh, shalosh is like a three hour, shaot is like a three hour opera. Opera, shalosh, shaot. Yeah, shaot, look at that. In other words, this literally, uh, you know what this is literally saying? That you got the opera here. That's kind of separated from this concept. Shell is like belonging to. And what is, what is, in other words, there is a condition belonging to this opera. What is that condition? Uh, shalosh she'ot. So oh, they've, they've actually written it in English for you, number three, but it's sh shalosh is three in Hebrew. Shalosh she'ot is three hours. So the condition that's that's the condition that's belonging to opera is three hours. So that's how you say in Hebrew, this is a three-hour opera. Uh, take a look at this. Uh, this looks like a sabla note. Sabla note. I bet you sabla note. Sabla note. Yeah, patience. Yeah, sublanot. Sublanot. Okay, so that's patience. Now, there's an interesting one. That's kind of a new one. All right, so that that covers that. There's a lot of neat stuff there. I, I, you know, there's a lot of new stuff, and and the way that they put the language together, you know, I'm always encountering new things. So that's kind of cool. Oh, look at this. We've got more of these discussion deals. Now down here we've got Shalot. So this would be um yeah, Shalot is uh Shalot. Yeah, questions, that's right. Shalot. All right. Okay, so let's take a look at um double check something here. Uh, thank you, Mary Potts, for the like on my video. Uh, okay, so.
Let's take a look at more of this here. Notice we have this woman here. So that kind of gives context here. Here's Dan. Now we know that that's masculine. Uh, ma nishma noga. Okay, so how's it going, noga? So if you say man, manishma to someone in Hebrew, you're saying, hey, what's happening? Or what's up, uh, noga? And then remember, noga is a girl. She's a girl. She, she's feminine. She says, Tov, uh, ma shlom ka. Now, notice she's going to say shlom ka, not shlomek. Why? Because Dan is a boy. He's masculine. What if uh, it wasn't Dan? What if it was a not? Then she would say, uh, ma shlomek. But it's not a not she's responding to. She's responding to Dan. Therefore, she says, uh, tov ma shlomka, how are you? So uh, how does this look, if you just say shlomka, how does this look in Hebrew with the vowel pointing? Well, uh, so this would be like, um, you would probably see a shava here. You would probably see a dot above this, which would be holem. And then uh, let's see, shlom. And then I think this, there would be like a kametz in there, shlomka in response to Dan, but you don't have any, you don't have the benefit in any of that pointing in modern Hebrew. Okay, Dan says, uh, Matsuyan, excellent. Uh, ma at, say, what are you? Remember, it's using at, because it's in reference to noga. Ose is doing, I think that's osa. What are you doing, osa? Ha Erev, what are you doing this evening? What are you doing this evening, essentially? Uh, Noga says, Ani holechet, I am going la opera, to the opera. Wow, looks like Noga is finally going to find somebody to go with her. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, now she says, Rotse, la bo, do you want to go? And notice she uses Rotse, because who is she asking this of? She's asking it of Dan, and it's going to be Rotse, not Rotsa. Rotse Labo. Okay. Uh, Yeshli Gartisim. I see, there is to me tickets. I have tickets. Gartisim. Now, Dan's, no, oh, look at this. Dan's going to disappoint her. She's been disappointed by two other people already. Here's the third person that's going to disappoint her. Lo, he says, no. Toda, no thanks. Look at that. No thanks. That's too bad, isn't it? Poor Noga. Can't get nobody to go to the opera with her. Uh, let's see. Uh, Noga. She says, he says, Noga, Anilo Ohev. I do not like the opera. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I don't think Dan, Dan needs to get with it. If a girl asks him to go somewhere and she's got tickets, I don't know. He's a little dull headed, isn't he? Anyway, uh, Dan says, Lo, no, da, no thanks, no, ga, no thanks, no, ga. I need lo, oh, opera. I don't like the opera. That's three strikeouts for poor Noga. Maybe she'll actually find somebody here. Now, here's, here's Dalit. This is the, this is the fourth conversation this poor girl is having. Okay, so remember, Noga wants to find somebody to go to the opera with her. This must be Noga right here. It's a woman. Okay, uh, Shalom. This is Ilot. Ilot. I think that's Ilot. That's a proper name. Well, let me see. What I want to see is, um, I think it's, Let's see if it's a Hebrew name of a man. Oh, it's like a... Uh, looks like it might be Arabic name. Arabic originating. A-I-L-A-T. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, it says, see here, this name means behind. Uh, so is it for... Okay, it's a girl. So Islet is a girl's name. Islet. Looks like unique Hebrew baby girl name. Okay, so this this name right here is kind of like A I L A T. So she's back to asking a girl again, another woman. So now, see, the reason why this is so important to figure out is because. Uh, when you're asking things like, how are you? Do you want to go? All of that, all of that has a different pronunciation if it's if it's directed at a woman than it is directed at a man. See what I'm saying? No, God says, uh, Shalom Eilat. Ma Shlomek. Now, this this case, she's gonna use Shlomek. Do you want to go? Eilat says, Holek. Let's see, let's see, let's see. See, Hakul Besader. See, now this is um, this is Ma Shlomek. How are you? And she says, Hakul Besader. I think that means like everything's okay. But let me double check and see what the exact. Um, Hakul Besader. Besader. I think it's like Hakul Besader. Hakul Besader. Yeah, that's right. Everything is fine. Hakol beseder. Yeah, hakol beseder. Manishma noga, what's up? Noga, what's up? What's going on, noga? Okay, noga says. Um, now this kind of doesn't make sense, does it? Because it's manishma noga. That that literally means like what's up or. It's, it really, if you were to say, how are you, you would say, uh, Mashlomek, how are you? But, there, but she's saying, what's up? So I kind of I wonder about their putting toe for an answer, but let me double, double check it. Manishma Noga. Okay. Manishma. Yeah, Manishma means like, what's new? And no God just answers told. That kind of kind of out of context, isn't it? Uh, here she says, uh, I lot or a lot at Ohevet Opera. Do you like the opera? Ohevet. Notice it uses Ohevet because we've established that I lot is a girl. Okay, feminine. Uh, okay, do you like the opera? A lot says, can Lama Lo? Uh, let's see, yes. To what? Look at that there, Lama Lo. I wonder what that is. See, it's like, um, I wonder if it means don't you? Lama Lo. Lama lo. Yes, why not? Yeah, she likes the opera. Okay, so she's saying, yeah, of course. I think in the English vernacular, it'd be like, yes, of course. And then Noga says, uh, Yeshli Kartasim, uh, there is to me Kartasim, the opera. There are, there are tickets to me. I have tickets. Ha'erev uh, Bashava. So in the evening at seven. So it's probably seven, seven p.m. I bet you. And now, now notice this word here. Uh, because these are two females, we got a, This is probably Noga here. And then there would be another woman, um, Ilot. So that would be another woman. And so uh, it's 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 going to be uh, Rotsa Rotsa Labo. Do you want to go? Want to go? Elot says, uh, "Let's see." Basha Shava Basha Asha. So another seven o'clock. Basha Shava. J 
Shiva. Ah, come on. Yeah, Basha'a Sheva. She says seven, at seven o'clock? Noga says, Ken, Zot, Oprah, this opera. Oh, look at this. Uh, this is this, that where it says this opera belongs. In other words, it belongs to Shalosh Cha'ot. In other words, this, this opera has three hours. This whole thing means this opera is three hours. So it starts at 7 p.m. So remember, Shava is seven. Elat says, uh, Shalom. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, Shalosh. <laughs> she's, she's, she's answering incredulously. Three hours? This opera is three hours? Shalosh. Oh, three hours? Shalosh. Oh. I almost think, I think that's Sha'ot. Sha'ot. Yeah, three hours. Yeah, she, notice how she's she's answering this. She's responding. This thing is three hours. What is she? Uh, low toda. No thanks. Oh no! Look at this. Noga strikes out four times. Ein li. There is not to me. Let's see. Oh, patience. That's what that one is. That's that, this, this one up. In other words, she doesn't have the patience for a three hour opera. There it is right there. Uh, Sab la note. There is not to me patience. So she says, uh, Aina li sab la note. I don't have patience for a three hour opera. So poor Noga. She struck out four times with four different people. Nobody wanted to go to a three-hour opera with this poor girl. It'd be kind of hard to sit through an three-hour opera, you know. I don't know. Maybe you could handle it out there. I, I don't know if I could or not. I'm not really into opera myself. But, uh, you know, I guess to each their own. All right, uh, so... Uh, here are the questions, Shailo questions. Well, let me see what kind of time I've got on my. Uh... Uh, I forgot this one doesn't give me the time. I got to use the iPhone. Isn't that strange? Yeah, the iPhone gives me the time, but Android will not give you the time on their app. Android needs to get it together. But on iPhone, you can see that it's 48 minutes into this video. All right, so. Let's take a look at some of these questions real quick here. Okay, so for our left, Number one, we have Noga uh, Metabaret Im. Okay, Noga. Let's see. I think that Metabaret is uh, is speaking. Uh, Metabaret Im. Uh, Noga is speaking with. Okay, I get it. Um, basically, you have to put in all the names of these people. So here's uh, a lot. Uh, I forgot Alamed. Uh, remember, uh, she was speaking to Dan. She was speaking with uh, who else up there? Uh, Moshe and Anat. Okay, all right. So there's these are the names of four people that she was approaching. To try to get to the go to the opera with, right? Moshe and and with. Now this va'im means and with. So im with with with. 
So we have Noga uh, Meraberet Im. So she's speaking with a lot Im Dan and with with Moshe Im Moshe Va Im. And remember, it was Ina. I think Ina is like uh, without scrolling up there. So that's that should be the answer. We should have uh, a lot Dan Moshe and Ina. These are the four people that she's speaking with. So let's go to the answer key and take take a look at it. Yep, there it is. T check it out. Noga Medaberet Im Ainet Im Moshe Im Dan Ba Im Ailet. Uh, so all four of those people she approached about the opera tickets, right? Now let's take a look at this one here. Enat lo holachet la opera. So Enat did not go to the opera key because so we have to figure out uh what was say all four of these people had an excuse why they didn't want to go to the opera right so uh what basically what you have to do is you have to go up and you have to figure out which little reading section applies to Ainet and I remember Ainet was like number one so let's go up to Aleph and see what her excuse is, why she doesn't want to go to the opera with no God, right? So what does she say? Uh, here she says down here, um, lo ani, let's, um, there it is. It's this one right here. I'm sorry, I think, right? Mitzta eret. I think it's mitzta eret, mitzta eret. I got to get this. Uh, there it is. Meets to air it. Yeah, meets to air it. That's right. She says, uh, Lo, ani meets to air it. No, no, I'm sorry. Hi, Rev, ani holechet laser. Okay, there it is. Hi, Rev, ani holechet laser. So uh, in the evening, I am going to the movies. So that's her excuse. I can't go to the opera with you because I already made plans. I'm going to the movies. So let's go down here to the uh, to the um, question again, and we should find that somewhere here. So it's probably going to be. Uh, so let's see. Let's let's see which one of these fits. Ain la cartisim. So there is not to her cart. There are not to her tickets. That's not correct because Noga already had tickets. The person she's asking does not have to buy a ticket for themselves. So that is wrong. It's not a left. How about this? He holeket la Sarah. She is going to the movie im, uh, with Ahavarim Shalah with her friends. Now, it's not, does not necessarily say that in the reading, does it? That she's going to the movie with her friends. She simply says, no, I'm just going to go to the movie tonight because I'm almost certain it doesn't say she's going with her friends. But you know what? This is probably the correct answer, because if I look down here, he lo ohevet opera. She does not like the opera. So that's 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 that does not apply to Ainet, does it? Doesn't apply to Ainet. The only one that could possibly be is this bet right here. He holeket la Sarah. She is going to the movie im ahavarim shalcha. In other words, uh, or it's like shala. It's not shalcha. It's like shala because it's a hey, right? So it's a he holeket la Sarah im ahavarim shala because uh, she's going to the movie with her friends. So it's going to be B. So that's what we should see for number two, right? We should see this one. That is what matches this one. Now let's take a look at number three. Moshe Ohev Opera. Moshe, he likes the opera. Wait a minute here. Uh, let's see. Moshe Ohev Opera. Does Moshe like the opera? Let's see. This we have Anna, let's see, uh, Anachnu Lo Yodim. We do not know. We do not know. 
Oh, look at this. It's uh, Nohan is. Um, come on, give me translate again. Nohan. Nohan. And Nohan means, um, yes, no, low Nohan. So it's like, no, he doesn't like, must be like, uh, he, he likes it. He likes it. And low Nohan must be, he doesn't like it. And then Anaknu, low Yodaim, uh, we do not know. So this is literally like no knowledge, Yodaim. We do not know. Okay, so uh, let's go up to the Moshe thing and figure out, we got to go to this one here and figure out what was his excuse? Why didn't he want to go to the opera with Noga? So here it is here. Uh, let's see, he says down here, uh, Mr. Air, I'm sorry, Noga. In Elisa Man Harais, there is not to me time this evening. Rev. Yeshli harbe she ore bayit. Now let's now the question is, do does is does Moshe indicate whether he even likes the opera? Uh, Moshe says, uh, Tov me od ma uh, and then Noga says, Tov. Uh, let's see, rotse le lechet ha erev le opera. Yeshli karstim. There is to me tickets. Moshe simply says, uh, Mista Er, I'm sorry, Noga. Ain Elizaman Hera, there is not to me time this evening. Yeshli Harbe Shiore Bait. Okay. Uh, there is to me um, a lot of homework. I have a lot of homework. So uh, Moshe doesn't really indicate here whether, let's see, because the, the implication is well, what if Moshe didn't have homework? See, if he didn't have that excuse, would he Would he anyway? In other words, if he was free for the evening, would he like to go to the opera? It doesn't tell us, does it? So let's go back down here to the question. Here it is right here. Moshe Ohave opera, does Moses like, does Moses like the opera? It, it uh, uh, this says Nohan. I think this has to do with, um, uh, yes, he likes it. Lo nohan, no, and then anaknu lo yodaim. Uh, to us, we don't know. So I think it's going to be this one right here, Gamel. We don't know because it's not telling us whether Moshe even likes the opera. He just made an excuse. I've got a lot of homework tonight. I can't go with you. Okay, so we should have. Um, let's see which of these here. Uh, let's let's take a look at our answers. You know what? I I, I uh, deleted my answer for this one here, but I think I got that right anyway. Okay, so we have a not lo holeke la opera. So a not does not uh, go to the opera key because yeah, this is right. He holeke la seret im ha havarim shala. So she is going to the movie. Im Havarim with the, with the friends belonging to her Shelha with her friends. Okay, so how about this one? Uh, Moshe Ohev Oprah. Moshe likes the opera. Uh, nohan or Lo Nohan. Uh, so in other words, uh, uh, yes, no Lo. We don't uh, know. And then this one. This is the correct one. Anaknu Lo Yodeim. Um, well, we don't know. That's right. We don't know the answer to that question. Notice how these um, notice how these uh, these are getting progressively more difficult. Essentially, I think. All right, so uh, Dan uh, wrote say or Lo wrote say la leket le opera. So Dan wants or does not want la leket le opera key because okay. So let's go to Dan. Go back up to our. Um, Here's Dan. Here's the Dan uh, thing right here. So Dan says, Manishma Noga, how are you? 
Noga says, Tov, Ma Shlomka. Uh, let's see, uh, what's, this is Manishma's, what's up, Noga? Noga says, uh, Tov, uh, Ma Shlomka. So how are you? Dan says, Mitsuyan, excellent. Ma at Osaharev, what are you doing this evening? Noga says, Ani holeket la opera, I'm going to the opera. Uh, wrote, say, Labo, do you want to go? Yeshli Kartisim, I've got tickets. Uh, what does Dan say? Hello, Tuna, no thanks, Noga. Anilo Ohev opera, I don't like the opera. Okay, so now we know what, what Dan's deal is. Well, let's go down here. Dan Rotse or Lo Rotse, Le Leket La Opera. So we're going to put Lo Rotse, right? Lo Rotse, because he does not want to go to the opera. Opera. He doesn't like the opera. Ki, because what? So we could put something like Dan Lo Ohave Ha Opera. Let's try that. Lo Ohave Ha Opera. Yeah, that's right. Lo Ohave Ha Opera. Uh, uh, we could, we should, we should put uh, who. We should put who in there. Uh, so it'd be like. Um, Who have her opera. Yeah, who who uh, because uh, he does not like the opera. Okay, so we'll put who. So this is he, and then we're gonna put low. Low and then oh hey means like right. So he no likes. That's essentially sounds kind of clunky, if you do it mechanically. No likes the opera. Here's the opera, ha opera, and it uses a pay. Come down now, don't mess up on me, pen. Ah, uh, we need a whole M in there. Reish hey. Okay, so we should see something like this. Who lo ohave ha opera? He doesn't like the opera. So let's take a look at the answer key. And we should see lo wrote say, right? He does not like the opera. This is Dan we're speaking about. Okay, so look at this. Dan Lo Rotse. He does not like La Lechet, La Opera. He doesn't like to go to the opera key. Who Lo Ohave Opera? Okay, he does not like the opera. All right, one more, and then we're going to be done, guys, for today. So this is the last one, Elot. Elot blank La Lechet Opera. This is probably Eam with Noga. I bet you it's going to be this. It's going to be, uh, let's see, it's going to be Rotsa. Rotsa. Uh, yeah, Elad wants Leleket to go to the opera. I think, I think is it Aleph Mem or is it um, Ayin Mem? I think it's Ayin Mem. Yeah, with. I mean, ma'am, this is what we're looking for here. Okay, so uh, in other words, uh, a lot was kind of possibly disposed toward going to the opera with Noga, wasn't she? But remember when she found out how long it was? She like backed out. She's like, oh, that's too long. I don't have the patience for that. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, the uh, opera. I think this is going to be a shell. It's three hours. Uh, shalosh, a soot, the laha. Let's see. Now, this is that patience one. Uh, Savla note. And uh, let's see. And uh, islet does and and islet to her. And there is, I bet you, and there is not to her. So it's, I bet you it's going to be Ain. 
Uh, see, how do you spell that ain again? Alef Yod Nun Safik. Ve'ain laha to her savla note. There is not patience to her. So we should say, we should see rotsa here, I think. We should say, see im here, I think. We should see shell here and then ain here. So let's see what the answer key is. Oh, wait a minute. They're putting low wrote say. Does not want to go. Okay. So see, I thought she was, she was, she was maybe kind of thinking about it, but when she found out it was three hours, it was too much. But here's what they have for the answer key. They are just strictly saying she just doesn't want to go. Uh la opera im no ga. Okay, I got that right. With no ga, I think. Uh Zo opera, I think that's uh, looks like um, Zo. It's almost like this opera, this opera. Zo opera, shall shalosh osot. Yeah, yeah, it's got to be. Zo opera shall shalosh. That's the first time I've seen that word there, like used that way, zo. And it means this, or it, it's an opera, or it's an opera. It's an opera uh, shell. I did get that shell right. Shalosh, sha'ot. It's three hours, sha'ot. But ain, and there is not laha to her, uh, sabla note. There is not to her patience. All right, so I think I did pretty good on those guys. Um, I think we're at an hour now. Yeah, we're at 12 o'clock already. So, um, I'm gonna end here. Remove this out of here. Anyway, I hope you guys learned a little bit from this. Uh, this is a great program to get into, to work with your Hebrew. Um, just keep working on it, you know, uh, little by little, here or there, here a little, there a little, there a little, to quote Isaiah, here here a little, there a little. <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, improve your language skills. So uh, look at the details here in my video. Uh, I've got Cash App. I got, if you want to donate to this ministry, if you are learning anything uh, through this or you feel led to donate, please donate because, you know, it, uh, we have to pay quite a bit of money to keep our Zoom room going every year. And we appreciate any and all offerings uh, to Hebrew Messianic Israel. We love you guys. And I hope you uh, get some benefit out of the ministry. Uh, we are partnered with New Earth Restoration. Look at that website on there. And every Saturday, every Sabbath, we have a service uh, at 11 o'clock. And you should see the details on that as well uh, on the, uh, the video details. So I hope that you guys have a great day. And uh, so uh, we're going we're gonna to close and hope you are blessed in Messiah.